So here we are, day two of the pond build. We still have a sheer wall of ledge that they drilled and split so that we could have a deep basin. This is just stone to act as a uh, cushion for the liner. The liner will go over all of this ledge and uh, make a wall up to the natural line of the soils. So we're down, I'm standing actually in the lowest part of the hole. We got a pump in here temporarily doing dewatering. Uh, of course, groundwater is steadily coming in from the high side of the hill because this entire area is all ledge. So, um, took us almost two weeks just to clear out the ledge uh, so that we could build the pond here. We had to create a trench through the ledge that is now filled with stone and we've got piping under the liner that's gonna take any water that accumulates below the pond and the liner through piping that goes through this trench and then it ties into an under drain system as you can see here this yellow pipe there's two pipes one's going to the under drain which leads out across the patio under the patio out to the other side and then out to the woods so that's one line the other line which is the second line is coming out. It's temporarily tied into a pump around the corner, again, to draw the water out of the hole under the liner. But ultimately, this will be a second backup line uh, for permanent dewatering under the liner. This is the skimmer. This uh, will be containing two pumps. Two pumps will be located inside this chamber, this basket removes and there's a space down on the bottom to receive two pumps and then the pipe will come out this hole head up over the banking around this hillside over to feed the waterfalls. Okay so now we're gonna head out from the skimmer area. Uh, the skimmer, I'm gonna spin around and just show you because the whole idea is the edge of the pond will tie right into, oh, there goes my emergency generator. Sorry for the background noise. It's just running a 10 minute test every Thursday. So it's over there off behind a bunch of junk that's temporarily in the way. But so anyways, the pond water is gonna be right up against the edge of this patio so that when you're standing on the patio, you can have the fish swimming right at your feet at the edge. So anyways, we're back in the pond, walking through uh, the main body of the pond. Then the water's gonna flow behind the chimney. So we have a nice chimney. And this chimney was built by an awesome mason named Mark and uh, we really had a good time when we built this chimney but so the water is going to flow behind this fireplace and then when it reaches this area opening here this isn't quite done yet but this is going to be a spillway or a waterfall it's a very small one it's only going to drop about four inches but it's going to flow over some stones and into this lower basin this will have aquatic plants in it, and this is a big filter. There's uh, a big snorkel pipe uh, with a lid that's gonna house a pump, and that's connected to a big, long, fabric-wrapped tube. The tube is actually a component called a Presby system. Uh, it's a component to a Presby system septic system. So basically, it's just creating a big void under this stone so that we can draw water through a pump, that pump will flow up around the hillside, up to the far side, over where the waterfall is going to be. So the guys are coming back tomorrow. I think they're going to start tying from this boulder 
in the spillway and the, all the rocks are going to start running around the edge to form the sheer wall of the quarry. So I think that's about it for today's update. As I say, this is end of day two of the build. We did spend several weeks in advance preparing the hole, but this is day two of actually placing components for the new pond. So until next time, thanks for watching. Check back soon for a further update.